A couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video titled Reef Slider Still Sucks in Splatoon 3. In this video, I included a montage of clips submitted by viewers where Reef Slider was being a bad special, and people seemed to really enjoy it. So I was thinking, what's another special that's just as bad as Reef Slider that I could make a similar montage for? Well, I didn't have to think very long because the Splatana Wiper is one of my main weapons. This video is going to be all about how awful Ultra Stamp is in Splatoon 3. Once again, I went on Twitter and asked all of my followers to submit clips of Ultra Stamp being a disappointment. And this time, almost 250 people submitted a clip. Just like the last video, I'm going to show you the montage right away. And then once it's over, I'll get into the specifics for why Ultra Stamp is so lackluster. I'll also compare it to Reef Slider, since these are probably the two weakest specials in the game. So be sure to stick around for that. Now, let's get into the montage.
All right, so for those of you who saw both videos, I gotta ask, which montage was more painful? This one or the Reef Slider one? Let me know down below. Once again, thank you to everyone who submitted a clip. I got a lot of submissions this time, so I wasn't able to include everyone. If I did, it would be around a 10 to 15 minute montage, which I think is a little much. Now that we've seen a ton of examples of Ultra Stamp sucking, let's talk about it. Why is this special so garbage? Well, compared to Reef Slider, which is just a generally weak special, Ultra Stamp is a bit different. I'd argue that its damage is actually fine, and the special is well designed. The problem is that the special just straight up malfunctions. It malfunctions a good 40 to 50% of the time, in fact. I mean, you guys saw it in the montage. You can literally stamp right through someone and they'll just walk away without a scratch. Even the throw mode has this issue sometimes, although it seems to be a little more consistent. Now yes, lag might play a small part in some of these clips, like the opponent might not be in the spot where it shows them on your screen, so maybe that's why they're not dying. But then again, here's a clip from the training room where even a dummy isn't taking damage properly. This thing's hitbox is just not programmed well. It's super inconsistent and it leads to many dumb moments. Plus, that doesn't even cover all of Stamp's problems. Its frontal protection is a joke. The special is supposed to shield you from the front, leaving only your back exposed. But uh, well, yeah, it doesn't really do that at all. It almost feels like you have no protection from the front sometimes. Yet other specials like Crab Tank and Ink Vac protect you from the front perfectly. And don't even get me started on Kraken. What makes these flaws even weirder is that Ultra Stamp in Splatoon 2 didn't have any of these issues. Its front protection worked pretty reliably, and people would actually die when you made contact with the stamp. I don't know what happened when moving over to Splatoon 3, but something went seriously wrong with this special and it has yet to be fixed. There was a previous patch where the devs claimed to fix some of the hitbox issues, but that was a long time ago and pretty much every clip I used in the montage was from after that patch. So yeah, I'm not sure if the devs are lying to us or what. In conclusion, Ultra Stamp is a pretty bottom tier special. It just sucks because if Nintendo would just take the time to give it actual buffs that don't just make it good against Crab Tank, the special could be so much better than it currently is. But since they don't seem to want to do that, we're stuck with a glitchy mess that's pretty much just a liability in any competent lobby. The last thing I'd like to do is compare Ultra Stamp to Reef Slider, since both of these specials are in the same tier of awfulness. As I said before, I think Ultra Stamp has potential with its design. It just needs to be buffed back to how it was in Splatoon 2. It simply gets held back by a glitchy hitbox. Reef Slider, on the other hand, is just weak by design in my opinion. Some buffs could definitely help it, but just like Splashdown, Reef Slider is designed in a way where it can really only be awful or overpowered. There's not much room for in between. Plus, Ultra Stamp has more versatility. While its rush mode is pretty doo-doo, the throw mode can be quite nice. Yes, this also doesn't work properly sometimes, but it works most of the time, and it's also a great way of scaring players to move out of the way at a distance. But with that being said, Nintendo, buff this special already. This has gone on way too long.